Right, Grim? Is it true ducks fly upside down here because there's nothing worth cramping on? Moving on. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> hey, man, I was hanging on the now. now. <laughs> if you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, NFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just use your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. And Robert with a crazy bat. Look at the path he's taking up field. Yeah, he's taking a psychopath, Grim. Second down and long. Well, good luck. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. It looks like the defense handed our shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous dirty trick there, Briggs. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> first down and forever. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Second down and six. <laughs> just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And 
and it's first and ten. Good thing you know drug testing in the NFL, because whenever they juice that player with the make Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. First and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. And he was stuck to him like glue. down and five first down he was not gonna drop that one they need to make him a target more often toe to toe with me i will wreck your world you understand me junior i'll wreck your world and it's first and ten and they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. down and eight. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Brace Man with a ball and didn't fall out. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's 
first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down and ten. has the receivers covered well and that's a three-yard gain on that pass and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is in palm cream that cross pitching unbelievable he's got the ball now let's see Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life and this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Nicely done for a first down. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And 
And it's first and ten. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Oh, what the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, uh, past the popcorn. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. And it's first and ten. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a root of under two minutes. A timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, I love this dirty trick. C5 Bofum, and that is caught for a first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. First and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. You are dirt and some butter on time. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one, hot. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Third down, and the punter 
is warming up. Hot kill. Great chance for a big... Ah, uh, come on now with a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. Uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon. I'm hungry for bacon. Bacon. He is automatic. Points and let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And that'll be second down and four. First down. See if they can get something going here. When I ball, I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod Jenkins. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. You can't keep a good mutant down. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show, sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Grim the coast. Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of my time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked Run. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. Top for the first down. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And into the end zone for a touchdown. 
once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Hey, you see that little baby? You know you did? You know what? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Defense goes one speed. And that defender just turned on his jet. And he's off to the races. Look at that little. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. A great run for a nine-yard gain. Bring up second and one. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. No, oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, uh, I didn't. Uh, I love this job. Uh, Second down in a very lot. And how about a little dirt sandwich? They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Second down and a... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, 
Grin. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Man, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Eh, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brave Ram with a ball and didn't fall down. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and seven. down and six. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Now here, I will put the ball in my hand, pick off my hand, and throw it for a yard. That counts, right? Damn it. Welcome to the Great Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double right burger, large right fries, and a big right fumble. You gotta protect the ball better than that. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Pain. First down. And it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this afternoon. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. 
The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. Second down and five. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third and two. up the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. a pick and now the quarterback is cursing the defense his receiver the coach everyone but himself. don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking i mean when they're not young <laughs> and it's first and ten and the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. Is big. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. Perfect pass and the score. Yo, man, nobody can touch you on our ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go. Third down and long. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. 
And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And that will bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. Second down and more than the QB would like. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Steps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Oh, they... He could go all the way. Now, these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Yeah, for one game, they want the worst. The Leland Burns win. There's something to hang your hat on, Cleveland. It was 
one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dance on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.